What up, Libra Legacies? Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new, or for those that are returning, for those that are new, stick around because you're about to see a great reading. Okay, so funny thing is, is that I was pulling your cards and this whole time I thought that I was filming and then my phone was like dimming and turning off and I was like pressing it, like relighting it, thinking, wondering why I was not holding the camera in place. Okay, so I'm just gonna rewind a little bit, but I am super excited. Not for those fireworks, but because we are stepping into Libra season. Okay, we're in Virgo season now, but we're stepping into Virgo season, which is, I mean, we're stepping into Libra season, which is your season, okay? Don't tell the others, but my favorite, okay? Because I'm a Libra, so we're coming, we're stepping into our power. Okay, we have the raccoon as your animal spirit, okay? Definitely very mysterious, curious, adventurous, okay? Definitely, it's almost like you're hiding within the shadows. No coincidence, okay, here, me and here at night. We also have the dragon, which is a major arcana card in the animal spirit deck. Okay, your third eye uh, chakra has been activated, is activated as of recently. Definitely lots of clarity coming in, a lot of messages, a lot of abundance, okay? definitely sky's the limit okay definitely your scales are vibrant you also are tapping into your blue green red and orange chakras okay so if you don't know what those are go ahead look them up but i'll go ahead and as i briefed you earlier i had already pulled your spread in the animal spirit deck and it's a great message so i did not want to start over I definitely felt the inclination of continuing off where I left off and kind of re paraphrase what I was saying because this is very important. You need to hear this Libra, okay? With the world card, okay? You definitely have gone in this full circle moment, okay? Full circle, full cycle. Definitely a strong ending to something in your life that was no longer serving you here with the death card, okay? This is an ending to something very toxic in your life. And not only have you been doing the work, the inner work, the self growth, okay? There's a lot of abundance, a lot of resiliency within your reading. You also have the judgment card here, okay? So right off the bat, you have three major arcana cards. And I love this because three is uh, a good number. If you look up angel number three, it's definitely of divine calling, okay? It's change, it's growth, it's development. Things are turning a little left here, okay? With the mother of cups and the mother of wands, okay? There's definitely this sense of your mother wanting to protect you. It's almost like you're in a bad graces with your mother right now, okay? There's definitely some type of conversation recently that kind of put things in an uneven scale. To clarify the world, we have the four of cups, okay? This is like you... The Four of Cups is kind of like this opportunity card, okay? Where you're holding on to what you've been working hard for and it's been working. You've been curious, you've been adventuring into new areas of your life, okay? If you notice the mouse, the rat, okay? They're kind of one of, they're, they're very perceived as an animal that's kind of very, uh, you know, disgusting, rotten, you know, among the muck. However, Okay, you see how this light, this moon, this crescent moon up top is shining down on this? It's because you're shining down a light on old bad habits, bad patterns, okay? Have you heard that new song, Bad Habits? Where it's like, it's like there's nothing left to use. There's nothing left to use. Bad habits. I don't know the lyrics, but it came to mind, okay? I briefly heard this song, and it's definitely very applicable to this because what's basically your reading is saying is that you've kind of done, like, whatever mischievous, rebellious behavior you used to have, Libra, 
which used to have a stronger pull on you and your personality has now been released okay with the judgment card okay you're this dove that has arisen from the darkness you are the light now okay you are inspiring other people and this is why i'm saying that this message is very important because this is for someone that has had lots of struggles in their life okay and you have overcame adversity and really 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 made this drastic change okay because here we have the father of swords so i'm definitely getting you being in close connection with your father opposed to your mother where things are kind of not in good graces you and your father are connecting you're seeing eye to eye and then we have the chariot here okay which is why i said you have this drastic change coming in very quickly okay we have the mother of pentacles here at the bottom okay i feel like your mother may support you financially there is this sense of closeness you may be closer to your mother but there's just this unevenness among this okay so we have the knight of wands to go ahead and clarify the world so you're definitely seeing the world as your oyster definitely feeling very free also picking up fire energy here i'm hearing capricorn aries also hearing uh scorpio sagittarius virgo taurus okay well, let's go ahead spirit guides angels clarify the death card I can't even finish saying it and like spit it out Ooh. <laughs> so we have the hierophant okay this is this this is i'm talking about this growth this drastic change okay this level of commitment to yourself you've been leveling up you've been bossing up libra okay but however there's still this thing that you're holding on to from the past okay this is where the indecisiveness comes okay this is kind of like almost like your um your hidden canon okay this is like you holding on to a reservation, okay, to something in the past. I'm strongly feeling like this is a person, okay? For whatever reason, this person has this hold on you. And this this the Hierophant is gonna be like a card of commitment of, you know, it could be a commitment to self. It could also be marriage, proposal, okay? But I'm definitely feeling like this is more in so relation to this person in the past, Libra. Okay, for whatever reason, they have this strong hold on you. It's almost like they know how to trigger you. They know how to pull on your heartstrings. And for whatever reason, you associate this person to happy, happiness, joyous, free, in love, madly in love. And it's almost like you're still waiting around, okay? You're still trying to work this magic trick here with the magician card. Or even though you have all the resources in your life to be happy, you're still waiting for this person to reach out and give you this offering of, hey, I want to do these. I want to do this again. I want to do this differently. Can we, you know, hit that reset button? Can we start over? Let's go ahead and see what the judgment card here has to say to this situation. Um, okay, so the Queen of Swords. Yeah, I definitely felt this coming, Libra. Okay, as I was saying, you're waiting for this person to come back and have this offering. As of right now, Libra, there is no communication. There's definitely this feeling of uneasiness on both of your guys' parts. It's almost like you guys both would like to communicate. You guys both don't know where the other stands. And this is why this is uh still pulling on your heartstrings for you and for them okay just as much as you're thinking of them they're thinking of you libra okay we have the four of swords here to clarify so like i said this person pulls on your heartstrings like you can't really make this stuff up okay we also have the knight of pentacles so this is like you starting to come around to the idea that you should walk away from this okay it's almost like you're starting to lose hope in this situation However, this person here with the nine of wands, okay, you, this this is also you. It's almost like you guys are both coming into this independent venture, independent, yeah, advent, uh, vent, venture where you're trying to figure out, okay, what is the best decision to do for yourself, 
okay you're having this commitment to self but you're still holding on to this person in the past you're starting to warm up to the idea of living this single life and enjoying that for what it is okay there's a lot of benefits of being single there's definitely a lot of opportunity to focus on your career level up and be the best version of yourself don't get me wrong having a family and for those for that have kids you know those are blessings as well we also have the the ace of wands here okay so this is you definitely opening up back here okay you're using your wise mind okay the the mind is broken up into two sections okay the logic and the emotional okay are you making impulsive you can it's never wise to make impulsive decisions off temporary emotions okay sit it out seven minutes okay i'm in recovery so if i get a craving i will wait seven minutes i will distract myself with seven minutes to let the the obsession of that feeling dissipate same thing if you're in the heat of a moment okay if you're at fight fight or fleas you have to take a step back and go ahead and really be mindful of how you're going to proceed, how you're going to respond versus how you're going to react, okay? Let's go ahead and clarify the Mother of Wands with the Mother of Cups. Okay, so to clarify the Mother of Wands, we have the Page of Swords, okay? This is you like lighting up the light bulb. The light bulb has been turning on, okay, here with the Ten of Swords. It's almost like your mother is wanting you to come more on this um, independent journey, okay? This journey is not this destination, and yet you're like the mother of wands, okay? You're doing the same thing. I feel like you and your mother butt, head, butt heads a lot, and even though she provides, okay, because you have the mother of pentacles, the mother of wands, and the mother of cups. So there's definitely a deep rooted connection between you and them. If you're a boy, a male, you're definitely a mama's boy, okay? If you're a girl, you're still a mama's girl. <laughs> so we also have the five of pentacles, okay? This is that card crying over spilled milk. Whatever dispute uh, came about within this was due to something very petty, something very minimal, okay? Let's go ahead and clarify the Four of Cups. Spirit guides, angels, please clarify the Four of Cups. The Sun. What did I say? Okay. Definitely full on transformation. Okay. You are the light now. You've left this darkness behind. Okay. You're this dragon, this magical dragon Libra with the sun card okay you're happy joyous and free you're very confident okay you're coming into a more confident place of being your self-esteem is has skyrocketed sky rocketed it's off the charts okay let's clarify the father of swords here with the seven of swords okay so there's this feeling of you have been doing something behind the scenes it's almost like you're not proud of this action However, you're keeping it to yourself, okay? It's almost like it's a situation where some things are better left unsaid, okay, undone. Let's go ahead and clarify the chariot. What is the chariot here for Libra? So we have the page of cups, okay? So this is uh, you reestablishing your friends, your network, your love, okay? You're starting to open up. Like I said, you're starting to open up to that idea of you moving on and letting this person go from the past. Let's go get it. Let's go ahead and get another card. Spirit guides, angels. The two of cups. Okay, like I said, Libra, you cannot make this stuff up. This is, could also be a solid friendship, okay? You were gonna be networking. This could also be a new relationship you're in the right place at the right time right now libra okay you may be back in school you may be in a work environment whatever you're doing you're doing the right thing and keep doing what you're doing okay because you're bringing in this abundance this longevity in your life okay this is really beautiful 
with the two of cups this is a solid friendship someone that matches you okay this is like co this is like best friends goals squad goals okay this is also like relationship goals this is what you've been waiting for and it's coming in you manifested this here with the magician okay even though you've been holding on to this person in the past okay that advice here the judgment card here is saying libra let this person go because there's something bigger and better coming in for you and until you go ahead and cut that string that you're attached with that person until then will you really receive this full force tenfold and that's why you have the chariot here with the two of cups and the page of cups okay this is like a great spread this is why i'm saying i needed to deliver this message we have the mother of pentacles let's clarify the mother of pentacles for libra please so we have the nine of pentacles death and rebirth and the high priestess okay so your mother's very wise you're also very wise you're the high priestess libra you also have the death and the rebirth card here so this is something very uh this is a cycle that's coming to a close, a chapter that is done, okay? The end period, okay? With this card, we also have the Nine of Pentacles. This is where these new opportunities are coming in. They're unfolding before you, okay? This is something brand new. This is something exciting, definitely magical, something on, out of like extraordinary, okay? This is original this is um yeah original like authentic with the high priestess okay you're getting a lot of downloads a lot of messages coming in a lot of clarity uh, it's almost like you know what's gonna happen before it happens you have this very strong intuition and what you're doing is you're recreating yourself okay you're re-narrating your life you're recreating this beautiful story. You're being the co-writer of this new life that you're unfolding, that you're making in your vision. And nothing is better than that. Okay, we have the, the Daughter of Wands. To clarify the Daughter of Wands, we have the Two of Swords. Okay, so with the Daughter of Wands, there's this infinity symbol here okay with some like hibiscus flowers it looks like maybe some roses okay these are like that flower that has those thorns okay it's like you've been connected with someone okay someone and I'm, this is in relation to this person in the past it's almost like you're creating this illusion for yourself libra that for whatever reason you believe that this might this might turn in your favor okay the answer is no this is not going to turn in your favor okay it's like it's the snake in the grass okay if it didn't work the first time it's not going to work the second time as much as you like this the reason why libra what i'm hearing is why you're holding on to this person is because you associate this person with happiness and love okay this is the last person that you were with where you truly knew what love felt like. So it's not that you want this person. You just want what the relationship was, okay? With the Two of Swords, there's definitely, okay, like this sense of communication, okay, of truth. Definitely a lot of enlightenment, okay? You're getting this clarity on why this isn't going to work out for you. It's going to happen at its own pace for you, but when it does, it's going to happen quickly, okay? With the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck, this is your challenge. Your challenge is to go ahead and really embark on this journey of self-growth, of development, of clarity okay really understanding what your purpose is in this life libra what is your legacy okay stop running away from what is fearful in your life here with the knight of swords okay you're coming into this energy here with the three of wands where you are becoming yourself the best version of yourself you're holding these torches loud and proud 
because you are proud of who you are and who are you and who you are becoming okay we also have here at the bottom of the deck the six of cups and this is that person from the past okay who you have strong roots with this is not in relation because you want this person again libra i'm hearing it's because you're infatuated with the idea of what that relationship was okay this is creating a burden in your life here with the ten of wands stop holding on to this burden and become here the nine of cups because this is who you are you're that hidden treasure you're that diamond in the rough you're the needle in the haystack you're that hidden treasure that everybody has been asking or uh, manifesting to want to have you've been in this hermit mode where you've been really leveling up again okay you've been searching for answers in all the wrong places is what i'm hearing what else spirit okay these crickets i am hearing now have a strong significance in your reading these are like this is like the background noise that you're hearing in your day-to-day -day, okay it's almost like there's a lot of static a lot of high frequencies in your life in your reading i wasn't really paying attention to them initially but now i'm starting to understand why your high frequencies your high vibrations that is why this is going on as of right now and the airplane that just flew above me okay let's go ahead and finish your reading with an angels and ancestors message let's go ahead let's pull a card and let's see what's in store for you oh that felt good Okay, Libra, so we have the heart guardian, love and let yourself be loved, okay? And we have the hunter, track down your fears and your desires, okay? I love pulling these cards at the end of your reading because they really complement and show how accurate your reading is, okay? I love this because, what was I saying? You need to stop running away from your fears. What are your truest desires? And until you cut that thread that you're attached to with that person, because you need to make the relationship that you're in love with the idea of that relationship, but not the person, okay? That person served its purpose in your time, but it's no longer serving you today or in the near future. So let's go ahead and let's read the heart guardian and let's see what this is about. Welcome with open arms, opportunities to give and receive love, Libra, okay? The heart guardian is an angelic energy that can help you call for protection and guidance with all issues surrounding the heart. This is essentially the angel who helps you with all relationships, whether they be with yourself, family, or even a romantic connection. She can enable you to move beyond any limiting fears about trust, discern whom to trust, okay? And understand how you can move forward in a balanced relationship with that person. Okay, this is something that, that I, was for, I was forgetting to tell you when I was doing the reading that I was hearing. What I was also hearing was, okay, because you had your heart broken before Libra, okay? You're always craving love. You're always looking for love, okay, right? So, when your heart was broken, okay, you started building up this brick wall, okay? This retaining thick concrete or brick wall, right? You've been carrying that behavior into all of your relationships. You've been on guard you've been having trust issues and this is all stems back from your past from your childhood trauma from your relationship trauma okay it's time for you to go ahead and open break that wall down okay if you want to put up a gate for protection go ahead just make sure you can open it and close it when you please and when you choose okay so 
in the, in this card she is adorned with a sacred heart and draped in a red cloak to show her capacity to let love lead the way you are love lovable and loving the energy of love is surrounding your whole world at this time angels are swirling around you encouraging you to open your heart and reveal the blessings that you have to offer they want you to know that you are a highly loving being who deserves to give and receive love if you are finding it challenging to feel love at this time it's important for you to give yourself credit where it's due you are also encouraged to welcome support from others learn to receive don't try and do everything on your own if you are working on a relationship or are in a new relationship which is what i was briefing you is coming in this card can usher in energies that allow you to forge a powerful connection with your partner love is in the air okay we also have here the hunter okay which is track down your fears and desires i'm just going to read a little bit of that because your main angel message here was the heart guardian libra but i still want to deliver this also message track down all of your fearful thoughts and feelings when you find them you will find your desires too okay so this is you taking that power back from those fears from that pain from that anxiety okay from that substance from that alcohol from that toxic relationship whatever was no longer serving you and by taking that power back from that those people places and or things you are reclaiming your power back. And again, you're co-writing the story. You're gaining the narrative back of your life. And most importantly, you're living out your best legacy, Libra. Okay, I love this. If this message resonated, leave a comment down below. Okay, like. When you guys do that, it really helps the algorithm of my channel. And so you can get notified with your next reading. I really loved doing your reading or coming into Libra season again. Libra gang. Libra gang. Libra gang. <laughs> All right. Don't forget to live out your best legacy. Libra.